Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing things a little bit differently. Not because I wanted to. I had a little bit of an issue with my camera, so I'm not going to be able to show my face on the videos for a little bit until we get that all sorted out. I also changed the workspace that I was working in. I'm now painting downstairs, editing video downstairs, all in one place. I'm not having to split between a couple different areas to do all of this uh, video stuff. It should eliminate the uh, kind of dread of setting up. Today we're going to be painting the Wadroon Raptor Riders. I bought into the Wadroon using the starter pack that came out, the one player starter set. It's a pretty cool set. They have Raptor Riders, uh, you can do Braves, they have a set of Slingers, a Predator, and then a Hunting Pack. We're starting with the Raptor here, and in this video I'm just going to show you how to paint the Raptor. That way, when we get to other videos where I'm showing more painting skin tone of the orcs, you're not getting bored because you've seen the same thing over and over. So I'm going to save the orc painting for an, a later video, and hopefully you'll be able to see a little bit more there. I'm also going to go into a little bit more detail on using acrylic inks and how I decided to use them to paint my orcs and the orc skin tone. On the raptor here, I went ahead with the Jade from Pro Acryl. Many of you guys probably know already, I am addicted to this color. Uh, pretty much every model that I have lately has had some sort of jade on it. And it's just because it's it's a great color. They have three different ones. You have the dark jade, jade, and then a bright jade. And they go really well together. There's not a whole lot of blending that I do with the, the jades. Just because I like the difference in the three colors. And I'm not as worried about the lines standing out as I am with some other colors. Here I'm going through and just base coating the Raptor, going with the Dark Jade, and then we'll move on to some other stuff before I go through and start doing the highlights. Once I've done the Dark Jade, I went ahead and moved into the belly of the Raptor. I didn't want to go and highlight all of the Jade or, or Bright Jade on the, the belly of the Raptor, knowing that I was going to cover it up anyways. I went ahead and used a Tan Flush color for the belly. After the belly, I moved on to the Jade Midtone color. I didn't get good footage of the Jade Midtone color, so right now you're actually seeing me paint on the light Jade. I went over the model with the basic Jade, probably about 80% of the model, and then moved into the Bright Jade. For the Bright Jade, I still wanted the Raptor to kind of pop out. I wanted them to be very colorful and really stand out. So I went ahead and added a lot more of the bright jade.
Once I got done with the bright jade, I moved on to the beak and the legs of the model. I went in with a burnt sienna color. I moved into the blues and I mixed a little bit of the azure from Vallejo model color with a Liquitex uh, ultramarine. Once I got all the blue done for the feathers, I decided that it was a little bit kind of bland uh, just having the blue across there. Sure, it was bright and kind of stood out, but I wanted to add a little bit more of a variation in the tail. So I took a soft body acrylic paint from Liquitex that is a dark purple color and went ahead and used a little bit of a matte medium just to try and add a little bit more depth and a little bit of a color shift to the, the feathers.
If you like the Conquest content that you're seeing and you want more of it, go ahead and subscribe and like to my videos here. I have some plans in the near future setting up some collaborations with a couple other channels where I want to do painting challenges and really challenge other people to increase their painting skill level as well. I feel like anytime I do a challenge, I generally go a little bit more above and beyond, and I learn so much more through challenging myself and challenging others just to see what outcomes there are. If you like the Conquest models, I'll have a link in the description down below. This will take you to the Parabellum eStore, and if you use the code also listed in the description, you'll get 10% off your order. A little bit of that purchase does come back to me, and it helps fund my hobby and the YouTube channel.